Oh, hello party people. Okay, today I'm going on a boat ride. And I left at 4.30 in the morning. It was pretty dark. But uh, there's, there's bioluminescent plankton in the water here. So uh, I was getting a pretty good show this morning. There were lots of fish and uh, like rays and stuff like that under the water. And when they swim around in the water in the dark, they, they just look like glowing fish swimming around. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, since my boat runs on pedal power and direct solar to motor, I was pedal powering for the last three hours and just in the last few minutes, I've got enough sun to turn my motor on, which you can probably hear. So, now that I got a chance to get a bit of a breather, relax a little, I decided to pull up my camera because I, uh, I said I would make a video when I go pick up all my roofing supplies. And that's what I'm doing today. Well, I'm doing a couple things today. I never go, I never do one thing at, at, at a time when I'm doing one of these trips. I'm kind of low on food, so first I'm going to go to town, go to the grocery store, and uh, get some food on the boat. And I'm going to try to do that real quick, because then I have to leave town and go a few miles like around town and past town to the place where I can pick up uh, deliveries, like deliveries that come from the States. And they come like once a month-ish. And. Hopefully, Deshaina has spoken with the guy this morning and let him know that I'm on my way and to bring the stuff to the dock where I can pick it all up. Now, I'm picking up supplies for my roof and I'm also picking up a bunch of stuff that was on my Amazon wish list. So, I don't know, like maybe two months ago, some dude was like, Yo, man, you need to make an Amazon wish list. And I was like, well, okay, so I put a bunch of stuff, and then he promptly sent me, like, two of the things, which was, like, crayons and a 24-volt motor, and then he sent me a multi-tool and something else. Um, anyway, a bunch a bunch of things from the wish list are coming, which is really cool, because, uh, you know, super thank you to you guys. Because, like, it's a bunch of stuff that I've needed for a while, but I couldn't quite bring myself to, to pay for it. Because, you know, I'm on... I'm not broke or anything, but I'm on kind of a tight budget here. You know, I got like four kids to make sure I take care of. Um, but some things like, uh, you know, my power tools. Uh, a few of the batteries have died. So I got generic battery replacements. I have high hopes for them. Since they're they're off brands, maybe they won't have quite as much power as the, uh, you know, the official Dewalt ones or whatever, but I mean, they, they should work fine. Um, and then there's just a bunch of other like little tool things and I don't know. I don't remember exactly what's in it, but we're gonna see when I get there. All right, first thing, get to town. I need to fill that with food and my my bag up there with food. And I did bring a, a bit of snacks with me and some water. Oh man, it's so nice when the sun starts pushing the boat for me a little. Oh yeah, I, be, I was sick all last week too, so, you know, I'm a little more tired than usual on this trip. Still, it's going pretty well. Alright, I'm just going to shut up and drive. I'm also kind of hoping that uh, all this exercise today will help uh, speed up my metabolism and help burn out the, you know, the, the end of whatever sickness this is. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Alright, let me not waste all my battery before we get to where we're going. Alright, all parked. I'm gonna head into town and grab some food. And Tuesday morning is not a good day to go get vegetables and fruits. Uh, pretty much everything was empty. I went to the biggest fruit and vegetable stand in town. And they had almost nothing. So, yeah, that wasn't great. But whatever, I got a bunch of other food, my other bag's full, and uh, when I was getting out of there, town is back that way a while now, but when I was leaving town, these two sailboats drove up like right close to me, and a guy yells from one of them, Jamie! Hey, I know you're from YouTube! 
And I looked and I just said, oh, cool. <laughs> I probably could have come up with something better to say than that, but that's all I said. Partly because I was like busy pulling solar panels out, uh, making sure I didn't fall off the boat, and watching the weather, you know, it's just thinking about other things. So to, to sailboat guys, yeah, sorry I didn't say anything cooler. This guy over here looks pretty good. I hope I get that sky. The sky on the other side over there, you can't see it right now. But uh, it looks mighty gray. Oh, you can see it that way a little bit. Yeah, hopefully I don't get that sky. Oh, raindrops. That's not the best thing right now. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain on all that stuff I'm picking up. I didn't bring a tarp or anything. Most of it's waterproof. Ah, well. I guess I can put a bunch of stuff in my pontoon. Some will go in there. I have another pontoon on the other side. Oh, yep. It's raining all right. Huh. Oh. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping this doesn't last. Here's the airport runway. No plane is coming down right now. I think it's about 100 meters each way. That was about 30 trips. Oh, jeez, that's like six kilometers. No wonder I'm out of breath. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, at least the rain's stopping. And the sun is coming out. Oh, beauty. Good timing. Oh, wow. The boat is a lot harder to move. There's all this weight in it. Yeah, the front's pretty loaded now. All right. Let's get the sinking motor turned on. I'm pretty sure I got everything. Uh, let's go home. I think, I think it's still before noon. Or if not, it's right around noon. So I should be able to get home in plenty of daylight. When I was loading
boat in the boat, I took a quick peek at the, uh, the mesh stuff that I got for the roof, which is one of the key components. Like, I need the mesh to be right. And it looked like it was going to be really good. I'll have to uh, wait till I stop before I can show you, which will be in like three hours. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this for about three hours. I'm going like right over. I'm awake. I'm awake. Can you give me this video? You want this video? Yeah, do you mind? What is all this stuff? Some of this is some of this cloth is mine, right? Yeah. All right, here's my roof and stuff, and a bunch of stuff I got from from amazing people who sent me tasty presents that aren't actually. Oh, okay, yeah, there is actually one thing that's food. Most of it's not actually tasty presents, though. All right, let's get some of this stuff in. Look at that silly dog over there. This is the mesh I think is going to be good for the roof. It looks great. Okay, unloading, unloading. Oh, almost got everything. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, looks like all the stuff I was expecting, and a few more things. Okay, I need to go make food. Oh, yeah, like right now. I was hanging out with my kids for a while, so it's kind of late. Yeah, let's get the fire going. Oh, yeah. Look at those guys. Seven, eight, and two over there. Oh, I've got ten of them. That's awesome. Marine bolts, three sixteen. Nice. Three sixteen stainless steel. There. I got some three o fours and some three sixteens. Three o four is like stainless steel, and then three sixteen is like super stainless steel. For you know, if I have something that's like in salt water, I would use the three sixteens. Oh, got some extra batteries. They're the generic ones. Looks like it's charging. Let's see, do I have enough sun? I think I have enough sun right now to charge two at a time. Oh, is that one charged? Nice. Oh no, it's just crooked for some reason. Oh man, what in the heck am I gonna pull with these? What's that, like a hundred thousand pounds pulling capacity or something? Oh, and here's some strappage. Ooh, vertical rated capacity, 6,200 pounds. Ooh, that's pretty good. And I got some drawing stuff. That might be meant for the kids. But I'm, I'm, I count as kids. We all count as kids, yeah. Ooh, got a bunch of craft supplies. Nice. Whoa, got crayons and markers and a circular saw. <laughs> I think. No, it's a drill. Oh, drills, nice. So I mentioned to someone that my drill is being held together by a thing. So he sent me, I think he sent me two. Oh yeah, drill and impact driver, nice. Oh, sketchbooks, I'm gonna totally presume that one of those is for me. <laughs> screws, what is that? I think that's paint. More screws. Oh, drill bits. Oh. Colored pencils, holy crap, that has a lot of colored pencils. Nice. A couple diamond blades, nice. Oh, screws and a light. Nice. Oh, 
Post-it notes? I guess I gotta start leaving post-it notes for my kids. And paints. And drill bits. Whoa, nice. Super long screws. other thing, boat making tool. Okay, so this guy is a shear. You know, you bolt it down to the table and, you know, attach the handle on here, which is just over there in the box. You put your piece of sheet metal in there, not your fingers, and move your sheet metal. It's like, it's like mega scissors. And I want to build a metal boat. And that is the main tool I've been missing to build a metal boat. Oh, metal boat. All right, let's get this. That's not going to happen until after my roof gets done anyway, so let's focus on that. Where's the instructions? I don't really need those. But uh, I don't know if these guys knew what caca meant. Caca industrial. Poopy industrial. Oh, we're the poopy caca industrial company. What? All right, styrofoam for my uh, styrocrete operations. Oh, still have piles of styrofoam. I have some some plans for a bunch of this though. Oh, yes. oh, I can't believe I have one of those now. That is awesome. It's like all my workshop is missing. I mean, besides my tools that are at Shana's is a spot welder. And the stupid thing about a spot welder is I used to have one. And then one of my idiot friends borrowed it. And like a year and a half later, I'm like, dude, are you ever giving me my spot welder back? And he's like, I don't have your spot welder. Oh, Oh my god, it was so frustrating. But it was long gone. Oh, inside here is a GPS thing, and I'm going to use that to mark the borders of my property, you know, put up fences and stuff. And then this guy is a drill powered wench. Winch. I guess you stick your drill on here, and it has a 750 pound pulling capacity. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I think I'm gonna do something. I also got a bunch of paint and some clay. My kids are gonna be excited about that. So uh, most of that stuff was sent by you guys, so I'm gonna take that as a vote of confidence that I'm actually doing something worthwhile with these videos. So thank you, and I'm just gonna shut up and keep trying to do my best. Okay, this other stuff. Ooh, packing paper. Oh, I love when things get sent as packing paper. It's like the best drawing paper. Oh, I'll get that out in a minute. I don't want to rip it. Okay. <clears throat> I've got all this mesh here. Let me let me get this out without ripping the paper. Hold on. Oh yeah. Nice. And I had to get a white crayon so I can draw on these and have white. There is actually a use for the white crayon. Okay, man, you know, this sickness my family has had for the last week, it's just lingering. I can't wait till it's gone. Anyway, let me go fold this up and just get it. Okay, so here's the stuff. <sighs> Pretty sure I can uh, make thin roof tiles if I use this for, for the reinforcement. And I want to make the roof tiles <clears throat> kind of as thin as I can reasonably make them. You know, like less than a quarter inch, you know. Because it, I mean, there's no reason to add a bunch of weight to the roof. And all it needs to do is just protect the plastic under, which is, well, I have two choices for the plastic under. 
I wasn't sure which one I should use, so I got two different things. Oh, plastic packaging. I don't know what to do with you. Okay, this box right here, and this box right here. And this stuff, which is 40 feet by 100 feet, man, and it's got strings in it. It's six mil, it has reinforcing strings. Yeah, that stuff, it's wrapped up with all plastic crap on it. And then I've got a 10 mil plastic, 24 feet by 100 feet, so there's lots of that too. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one just because it has more texture. And let me explain what I'm going to do on this roof. I know I've mentioned it before, but... So I did this test, I don't know, a couple months ago, where I took a piece of plastic sheeting. Well, first I, I smeared a bit of cement on here, put a bit of plastic sheeting, and then smeared some cement on top of it. Well, cement and sand, like mortar. And the top is only like two millimeters thick. And man, it's, it's pretty strong. I'm kind of impressed. So this is this is roughly the construction I want to do for my roof tiles. And this piece of plastic goes, it covers most of this. And the top mortar here will have that uh, plastic mesh in it to keep it from, you know, cracking up and coming apart. Man, this is a very promising test. Like, it's not coming apart at all and the plastic isn't coming out. Oh, there, I got it. So yeah, I had to yank on that pretty hard to get it to crack at all. That's great. That would be really, really thin roof tiles. Um, that would be about the thinnest I could possibly make it and still have this mesh not showing. But I think I'll make it a little bit thicker just to make sure the mesh is all out of the sun. Okay, so the basic idea here is, let's say this is my roof. I'm going to smear some mortar on, you know, just to make it a little wet and sticky or whatever. And then I'll probably make squares like this. Well, the bottom ones will just be half, but whatever. You know, I'll put a thing like this, and this is the bottom, and that's the top. So this will overlap the one below it. So this will be a, a square of the plastic sheeting, probably the stuff with the strings. And then I'll put mesh on top of this down to the edge of here, but overlapping up here and then smear cement over that. So the whole tile will go like, you know, outside the plastic part and the mesh will come out here. That means the mesh will be glued to the building and the plastic part uh, will make a separation layer between the, the tile up here and the, the roof. But since I'm you know, putting it on, there should be so little space in there. Like it'll, it'll basically be fused together so bugs won't get in it. However, if, if it does need to shift at all, it'll be able to, to move a little bit. And uh, yeah, then I just keep going and make sure my plastic is overlapped. And you'll never actually see the plastic once it's under the, the cement, but it will be overlapping the whole way up. You know, the other thing I thought about using for mesh was onion bags. But then I calculated how many I would need, and oh, man. Maybe on a smaller building. All right, I'm about to pass out, so I'm just, I'm just going to go over here. And, oh. Most comfortable marshmallow ever. Oh, I can't get out of it. Come on. Oh. 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 Oh.